A number of us should be excited about the behind-the-scenes activities going on with Social Security, one of which is the hearing that has been going on over the, the last few weeks have seen the introduction of every idea that Republicans, Democrats, and Independents have debated over the previous few years. They chose to hold a hearing to present every plan at the table so that they can all be discussed simultaneously, speculatively, what might Dr. Swagel, has the general fund ever been utilized to fund Social Security benefits? I know I don't, thus the answer is no. Utilized, but fictitiously, that's what we're trying to argue to the American people here in an attempt to convince them that somehow this adds to the debt and deficit, which is complete nonsense. Now, let me ask you a question. I have two questions for you, Mr. Goss. First, what would happen to benefits if we raised the retirement age by three years, as has been suggested? Went from 67 to 70, depending on how quickly we accomplished this. However, at the moment where we raised the retirement age by three years, as you mentioned earlier, lowers retirement benefits. Benefits would actually decrease if the regular retirement age were raised by an extra three years. Monthly benefits and lifetime benefits would increase by roughly 6.5 to 7% for every year that we raise. By roughly 20%, we'll discuss initiatives aimed at providing seniors with at least $3,000. No, we're not being cynical. There is $3,000 out there that you can benefit from. Seniors are leaving $30 billion in poverty unknowingly, according to the National Council on Aging, but many are unaware of this since they are battling with high inflation, especially those on fixed incomes. Advantages presented seniors tell us that there are a number of resources available that can benefit a lot of people, so consumer reporter Heather Sullivan joins us with smart sense on that. They are having trouble paying for more expensive food, energy, housing, and prescription drugs, but many are unaware that, because they live on a fixed income, they can be eligible for up to $5,000 in annual aid. You may prepare a pot of beans instead of purchasing a lot of meat or other similar items. Inflation is having an impact on older persons, particularly those with fixed incomes, Although the National Council on Aging claims that qualified seniors are losing out on $30 billion in benefits that could save them up to $5,000 a year. This keeps you from having to decide between eating now and taking your medication. Many seniors are unaware that they could be eligible for SNAP, the Supplemental Nutrition Aid Program. While many people are aware of food programs such as SNAP, many are unaware that older persons frequently don't. If you are eligible for these benefits, please apply for them. People with Medicare may be able to afford prescription drug premiums with the assistance of Medicare savings programs like Extra Help and the Medicare Part D Low Income Subsidy. Possessing these more funds in your the lowest income people, there are programs available to pay for these prescriptions out of pocket, often up to and including fully free medications. Housing choice vouchers and public housing programs are two examples of these programs. In order to assist elderly individuals in remaining in their current residence or in locating affordable accommodation, supplemental security income is available, which offers funds for necessities. Reduced internet access via the Cheap Connection Initiative and the LIHEAP, also known as the Low Income Household Energy Assistance Program, is a great helpful resource for paying gas and electric bills. We'll discuss at least three websites where you can access these benefits, but before we continue, let me introduce myself. My name is Rachel, and I'm here to provide you with accurate information about the current state of politics. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing and for hitting the notification bell to receive updates on the area. As I mentioned before, please sure you watch the entire video since we're going to. In order to talk about current government programs that you can participate in and receive rewards worth $3,000, it mentions programs that offer monetary compensation. Once more, government initiatives that offer financial assistance program for senior help $3,000 and beyond. Let's examine some of these programs. Some of these you may be acquainted with, but as I previously indicated, I'll have websites that they, we are currently on the website, seniorstrong.org, which I suggest you visit. I will provide you all with the website containing this content and the websites where you can benefit. We already know that Social Security and SSI are available when it comes to general financing, among other programs that are available. Among the initiatives, we are aware that senior citizens can receive tax credits when 
We already know that seniors can benefit from certain tax benefits because it states that some seniors receive income tax-based tax credits between $3,050 and $7,500. There are health care programs available to seniors, such Medicare, can benefit from, and we are also aware of the existence of additional programs, like the Extra Help Program. What is the program for additional help? It states that elderly people who qualify for Medicare Part D may also be eligible for additional. The program is called HELP, and it offers an extra $4,000 year in aid. If you're single, your net worth must be at least $14,100, but if you're married, your requirements must be eligible for a grant if they have at least a net worth of $28,150. We are aware of programs that provide all-inclusive care for seniors, such as the PACE program. PACE Initiative We know that in order to be eligible for full-time care from a nursing home's medical staff and to have access to PACE network care, a person must be at least 55 years old and a current resident of the area. There are these programs available, we are also aware of the additional housing assistance programs offered by the federal government, including those run by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. And what they offer, they state low-income families, including elderly, can rent homes through the HUD Public Housing Program, with rent payments limited to 30% of their adjusted gross income. It is imperative to emphasize that the majority of localities have a long waiting list to sign up for these senior assistance programs offered by HUD, but they do exist, as do the Housing Choice Voucher and Veterans Affairs programs. There are six housing programs and 504 home repair programs available. The program states that it offers grants up to $7,500, with the maximum loan amount being a grant that you are not required to repay. However, if you require assistance with house repairs, they provide it to you for up to $220,000. Additionally, there are low-income home energy assistance programs available for seniors through the U.S. Department of Energy. Claims that it also helps people make their houses more affordable and energy efficient, especially when it comes to heating and cooling. This can help older citizens save money on their housing costs, as well as keep them healthy during inclement weather. Additionally, there are programs available that provide nutrition for people with HIV-AIDS, such as the SNAP programs for seniors, emergency assistance food programs, and commodity supplement food programs. There currently, as well as senior farmers market nutrition programs that are accessible in the majority of cities, programs that we'll be talking about now, and more resources for locating government programs for the elderly. Now keep in mind that there are programs available to help you up to $3,000, but you have to use them. Benefits.gov is one of the websites to utilize. You are currently on their website. And on their website, you can take advantage of a number of the benefit programs that they offer. You may explore various agencies, use benefit finders, and take advantage of anything that relates to health care for disaster relief Medicare or health benefits monetary support. All you have to do is click on it to be taken directly to various programs and what you need as a senior. If you only need financial support, you can click on the program that lists five benefits for first responders and their families as well as resources for small businesses that is appropriate for you if you are a Medicare or Medicaid recipient. It will direct you to the next page where those programs are offered and the states are listed alphabetically. Now, let's return to Benefits.gov to view the first website. BenefitsCheckup.org is the second. When we click on that, a website appears with the message, Worry Less and Age Better with Benefit Checkups to Urgle Times. You can take advantage of a plethora of programs, many of which also offer phone numbers that you can utilize as well, so you should visit this website immediately. We'll include it not only in the video's description, but I'll also provide links to these websites. In the comment section, because, as I previously mentioned, they have phone numbers that you may call to seek assistance up to a maximum of $3,000, and the third and last website that we're you merely need to go to Elder Care Locator if you're seeking for programs in your area that can help you, but you're not sure where to look. CareFinder enter your zip code, city, and state, and it will help you locate programs that are currently offered in your region. Support Services Housing Elder Rights to Benefits, Insurance, and you can currently take advantage of Health and Transportation Services, and if you go back to the top, you can also find a phone number to call.